We're here on Bakerdale Road, just a short distance away from both Carlton Hill and Bakersfield amenities and frequent bus services to the city for a video tour of this three bedroom detached family home. Just starting off at the front of the property. So we have a pedestrian gate taking us up to the double doors in the porch. On top of that, there's also a further set of double gates, which give us access to the driveway and in turn the garage, which has an up and over door. Front garden, all nice and low maintenance, mainly paved with a variety of established plants and shrubs. And we also have a pedestrian access gate just down the side, which takes us up to a further lock-up gate into the back garden. And then just having a look around inside the property. So through the porch, we have the entrance hall where we have a staircase up to the first floor where we'll find all three bedrooms and also the family bathroom. There's a useful understairs storage cupboard. Door straight ahead takes us into the kitchen. Then have the door on the right into the dining room and the first door into the lounge. It's also worth noting just behind us as well, we have the main entrance door with the original feature stained glass leaded effect windows. So we'll just have a look at the living room to start off with. Nicely decorated, lovely and bright. We have our TV and internet access point in here. Feature bay window to the front of the house. And there's also a fantastic solid fuel burner as well. Folding doors then take us through to the dining room. Nice versatile space, could be utilised as a dining room given that we do have plenty of room for a good sized table and chairs. Alternatively, could be used as a further sitting room. Lovely views over the back garden as well. And finally, we then have the kitchen. It's currently fitted with a range of base and our level units. We have space and plumbing for a washing machine, plenty of room for a freestanding cooker, and there is further space in here for a freestanding stacked fridge freezer as well. Door at the end of the kitchen takes us out to the back garden. And then just having a look round upstairs from the first floor landing from right to left, we have access to bedroom number three, bedroom number one, bedroom number two, and then the lovely modern family bathroom just to our left. Just working our way around the bedroom, starting off in bedroom number three, a good size single room, plenty of space for freestanding bedroom furniture as well. Nice and neutrally decorated. Room alternatively could be utilised as an office for those looking to work from a home. We then have the master bedroom, really good sized double room. Again, plenty of space for at least a double bed, as well as a variety of items of freestanding bedroom furniture. Nice and neutrally decorated. We have a feature bay window as well to the front. Just next door, bedroom number two. Again, lovely and bright, really good sized double room. Views over the back garden, which we'll have a look at very shortly. And finally, we have the fantastic modern family bathroom fitted with a four piece suite. So we have a feature bath with mixer tap and handheld shower attachment off. There's a dual flush toilet, have a separate shower cubicle with mains pressure controls, handheld shower attachment and a further fixed rainfall style shower head. There's then a wash basin with vanity storage below and then either side we have a useful fitted storage cupboard which houses the combi boiler and also a heated chrome effect tower radiator. And then just to finish off the tour we'll have a look at the rear garden. So just outside of the kitchen door to our left we have useful outbuilding. So we have a toilet on the left and then just a useful store on the right. Patio area does then extend to the back of the garage where we have a pedestrian access door in. In there we'll find access to both power and lighting. There's also space here for a table and chairs. Variety of established plants and shrubs set to borders. The rest of the garden is then lawned and enclosed on all elevations for privacy. And there's also a useful greenhouse as well.